What's going on, y'all? That boy Gam back in the building tapping in with y'all one more time. I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about something that I was thinking about earlier today. Things will go wrong in life. When you make plans, things do happen. And it's it's all the time. Like you can expect something might go wrong. Whenever you make a plan, you know that something might go wrong. But you also have to realize that throughout your life, every single thing that went wrong, you made it through it. If you still living and breathing right now to this day, that means you got through any hard time that you had in the past. Now, I'm not going to say that it's going to be always easy to get through it. And you might not have to, you might not want to do what you have to do in order to get through it. But the point is, is that you always did get through it one way or another. Something always happens to where you made it through. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was growing up, the neighborhood that I grew up in, my childhood home that I grew up in, everything that I knew up until the point to when I was probably about a senior in high school, right? Or I was a junior going about to go into the senior year and my i end up getting in a situation where i was going to have to move away from the neighborhood that i grew up in and that i spent all my time there all my friends that i knew throughout my life everybody grew up there people were still there it was just that community feeling everything and i felt devastated with the idea that I had to leave from that neighborhood and from my house that I grew up in. I felt devastated at the time, right? I was thinking about everything that was gonna be different and all this, and now I'm not gonna be with my friends no more. They gonna forget about me. I'm gonna be in a whole different place and all of that. This is how it seemed to me at the moment. But then what happened? I ended up moving. That's what I had to be done. And then you just adjust. I realized, wait a minute, okay, I'm worried about being away from my friends, but all right, so now I guess I need to get me a car and start driving. You see what I'm saying? Now, once I did the work, work towards getting the car. Once I got the car, now I'm driving back and forth and I feel even better the freedom to come and go as I please and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And eventually it started to not even be an issue at all. But the way I was thinking at that moment, it was like it was the end of the world. But in reality, it was benefits to my new lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Same thing happened to me during high school years, I was I was trying to have a little too much fun during my senior year, my last year of high school, like a lot of us do, you know, and I ended up messing up with my grades and stuff. Never had a problem actually doing the work in school. School work was never really hard for me, but it's the problem with we always wanna have fun. We always focused on having fun and girls and all of that stuff. And some of us get a little too caught up in that. So I got into a situation where they told me, man, you might not have enough credits to graduate. And now not graduating for me, that was gonna be another devastating thing. Like, oh man, no, I can't do this. I ain't, I'm not, I can't, I ain't trying to repeat the grade and not have to be here an extra year and all of that. That wasn't what I, I wasn't, feeling that idea you know so i felt devastated but what i found out is once i start trying to make the effort they're like okay look you can actually go to night school go to night school get the credits that you're missing 
what ended up happening was I went to night school. During night school, they actually came to me and was like, you know what? I think we made a mistake and we told you you would get enough credits from this. Actually, you still won't have enough. So at that point, again, I'm devastated again. What ended up happening? They tell me, actually, we have an extended day program where you can stay here at the high school for a couple hours longer to do extra work and you can go to night school. And if you do that, then you will have enough credits. Now, that might sound like, oh my God, how much work is that and all this, but I put myself in that predicament because if I would have been not focused on other things during the time where I was supposed to be doing the work in the first place, I wouldn't be in the position, but I am in the position. So, I had to do the extra work and I did that. I went to night school, went to extended day, did everything I needed to do. And I ended up walking across the stage right on time, just like I was supposed to. But at the moment, it looked like, oh man, how I'm gonna do this? There's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of that. But I did it. It's not that you're not gonna have to do the hard work and the work not gonna be hard. It is gonna be hard. You are gonna have to put the work in. You know, things go wrong sometimes and you do have to do work and everything to get it. But the point is you get through it. Think about in your life, all the things that seem devastating at the time, but you, now they're just a memory. They're in the past now. The things that went wrong, relationships, losing jobs, all that stuff. Anything that happened though, you got through it. You still living, breathing. So that's just what I wanted to share with y'all today. Things will go wrong, but don't be scared of things going wrong. Just have the faith that everything that went wrong up until this point, I got through it. So I'm going to continue to get through it. I'm going to get through it the next time too, you know? So that's all I wanted to say to y'all today about that. Till next time, y'all again, I'm tapping out.